the tritium material is a, is a very special material. Uh, simply put, it's very thin. Uh, how, how thin it is? It's as thin as uh, a few nanometer or even below nanometer. So uh, out here is a tens of thousands thicker than the 2D materials. So there are two uh, directions for our application. Now one direction is uh, uh, reduce the energy uh, consumption. So we know uh, we are using the digital uh, things, right? Like a mobile phone, like computer. And now we are using the, uh, the, the CPU and the GPU to train bigger model like chat GTP. So which consume a lot of uh, electric energy. Uh, you know, right, we have uh, uh, many data centers uh, in, in Singapore and uh, uh, globally. So those data centers, they, they consume huge energy. So what we did is uh, we look at uh, this uh, semiconductor chip, right? And we found that chip is uh, basically it's a silicon based, CMOS technology. And uh, the power consumption of this silicon CMOS is based on, is determined by what? By the working voltage, right? But for silicon, the working voltage is uh, almost reached to the limit. So what we are thinking is to uh, reduce the, the voltage using the 2D materials. So we propose a new type of architecture. So we, what we call is a negative capacitance transistor. And this kind of a transistor, we can reduce the voltage to 0 0.2 or even lower, so which means we can save 90% of the energy. Or, or even 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 more than the values, and the second thing is that we are using uh, 2D materials to make a new type of AI architecture, like a neuromorphic architecture, or even we are using light to carry the information. We are we are, we are going to make a photonic chip uh, for this uh, high efficiency computing and high speed computing, uh, high 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 density computing. And uh, the other side, right? Uh, we we found that. The 2D materials can help us to make a new type of catalyst. So the catalyst, such as a, a platinum-based catalyst, to make a hydrogen energy. So hydrogen is, a, is also a sustainable green energy, right? Uh, which can help us to realize in 2050 goals so carbon emission, zero carbon emission. So we, we, we found that uh, one type of the 2D material, which we call uh, platinum selenite. So in that material, we can have very nice performance in terms of hydrogen generation. I think collaboration is a, is a key factor to promote the science breakthrough. The reason is, uh, uh, so for different researchers, right, or scientists like us, we are focused on our own areas, right? But if we talk with others from different areas, we get inspired. So we may learn something from them, and we may have some uh, crazy ideas with them to come out with new projects.